This episode brought to you by Subsoap. This month only, purchase the Infinity Bundle. Pay once, get new games forever. Visit infinitybundle.com. A Florida Methodist minister comes out at the American Atheist Conference and renounces her faith. Teresa McBain spoke at the American Atheist Conference on Monday, 26th of March, and told the story of her transition from minister in a Methodist church in Florida to atheist. According to a member of the Lake Jackson United Methodist Church in Tallahassee, it wasn't until the following Friday that she relinquished her role as pastor. The following day, a video of Teresa McBain's coming out at the American Atheist Conference surfaced online. She could be seen apologizing for having hated atheists and for leading other people into the same hatred. She thanked the assembled unbelievers for meeting her hatred with love and compassion. She added that in all her years as a minister, she had never felt such unconditional compassion. Tallahassee church members are presently discussing leadership plans in her absence. Chechnya's Islamic Identity Crisis Young Chechens are adopting the strict Islamic dress code favored by fundamentalists in their search for a non-Russian identity. The hijab has now become a common sight in Chechen cities and towns. It has also become the uniform for many schoolgirls. While wearing the hijab had begun as a voluntary expression of national pride, the Islamic dress code is now enforced with an ever-increasing number of municipalities. While many welcomed the Islamic revival after 20 years of war with Russia, many Chechen Muslims are resisting this movement towards fundamentalism. This generation lost its childhood to war, said Imam Yazriel Ayyubov of Serzan Yurt. Its education was interrupted and it grew up overnight. Yet when it comes to Islam, young people are far more educated and observant than the previous generation. Meanwhile, the 35-year-old Chechen leader Ramzan Kadyrov has embarked on an active program to promote Islam. Goose-stepping in Europe? Attempting to start off with terms as a pan-European anti-Islamic alliance, the English Defense League, better known as the EDL, has sponsored a rally in Aarhus, Denmark. The organizers hope this will mark the beginning of a unified coalition of right-wing extremist groups across Europe. The EDL, a British far-right group noted for extreme rhetoric and racist views, wanted to ban all Islamic immigrations into Europe. Less than 200 far-rightists appeared at the rally, which was dwarfed by nearly 20 to 1 by a counter-demonstration of anti-racists. While EDL organizers had predicted a small turnout, most of those attending the rally also participated in a number of political and organizational meetings held in Aarhus during the week before the public march. This is the real birthday of the movement. This is where it starts, said EDL representative Stephen Lennon during the gathering. We will be separate organizations under one umbrella. <laughs> 